Hey guys, what's up? All right, my name is Avita. It's Avita Light, Sweetest Light Tarot. Uh, please don't forget if you're vibing to hit that like button for me, please. Also, uh, if you want a personal reading or have any questions, my information is in the description box. Um, and donations also, Cash App, PayPal, Venom, all the information is in my link in the description box. All right, guys. Divine Father, Mother, Ancestors, Spirit Guides of the Most High, please surround us and fold us and protect us with your light. Anyone sending any spell work, evil eye, or negative intentions towards us, please send it back with full forgiveness. Thank you. Archangel Michael, we please protect us at this time. I don't know what I was about to say. I was about to say, uh, like, Michelle or something. That was odd. Um, something caught me off guard over here. So, somebody is fighting right now. Okay, because of your sight, you've seen something. Somebody is, like, not secure, and they don't like the fact that you are. Okay? Somebody's name could be Anthony. Somebody could have gotten an accident, or somebody, um... Somebody's about to crash. This could mean, like, it doesn't mean a vehicle. That it could mean, like, literally, like, tired working too much or maybe drinking or an addiction or something like that. Um, it could be an, an, an accident that, you know, past, present, future. Um, it says Anthony and then it says passenger. So maybe Anthony's the passenger. Um, okay. Or something could happen with the passenger. And so they were fighting about somebody lying. Okay about seeing you or knowing something about you you're going to receive a message okay i don't know who that was for but that's what i'm getting here let's see where this energy is right now i remember my my readings are also um genderless you could swap you know because sometimes uh, energy can come up if somebody is like really defensive and sticking up for their self um, in a situation. Sometimes they can come up as a, as a male and they could be a female. You know, somebody could be um, being very mothering and they can come up as a female. Okay. Is this it? You got, you got more, huh? Well, spirit's got more for me, so I didn't think that they were going to have that many with these, but I guess so. They got a message tonight. I'm glad that one didn't come out. Okay. Let's see. What's going on in the energy? All right. Now, the numbers I have here, I'm going to go ahead and call them out. 43, 34, 21, 12, 40, 49, 94, 53, and 35. Those could be ages or those could be ages that something could have happened. Okay. And 50. So, somebody doesn't like your resilience. Like, your you your strength, okay? The strength that you have. Somebody here is um, spending a lot of money. They, they Financially, they're set. And they're trying to be strategic here, okay? They're trying to come up with a plan. And it's not working. Um, it Maybe it worked in the past is what I'm getting here, okay? And they're really trying to get you to come unglued, to come out of your skin. Um, you probably, I feel like you've kind of been on like on a roller coaster. Uh, things were kind of crazy and then they started getting better uh, little by little. And then it's like, then there'll be these little like twerks in the road, I'll say. Um, you know, you got these peons, these, these minions that are are starting all these this chaos whether it's on the 3d or the 5d i feel like there's a lot of spiritual warfare going on and um somebody might mm, yeah somebody might be trying to invite you somewhere or um just what they're trying to do is they're trying to get you to go somewhere they're, they're, that's their plan they need you to be somewhere at a certain time and a certain day um, now, there's a lot of eyes on you. I feel like there's, 
and I've been getting this. There's there's something of like importance with your connection with your bloodline. There's somebody that you are that you don't even realize you are um related to. Okay. And somebody's paying a lot of money here to have people keep their mouth closed. Because I think something could have gotten out. Okay. Um I feel like your family might know this though one of your parents do I don't even think both of them do I think one of your parents know okay but you've had a lot of strength and you've been trying to figure out what's going on you've been trying to figure out your um, probably your family like your ancestry your bloodline like um, the connections you know what's going on why is things going on the way they are um, since your awakening, it's been, um, almost paralyzing. It's like trying to figure things out and who to trust and, and, you know, it, yeah, it's a little, it is a little paralyzing. I know. Cause I, I, I've been through it and I'm still going through it. Okay. Um, ooh, I need to light some sage guys. The energy is, yeah. It's a little crazy. So there's a some kind of party that they're they're trying to get you to go to okay but it's not a good party it might seem good there might be like uh people there uh that have money you know like i don't even think you're about the money but i mean famous people um and being invited it might look like something else at first okay But what they do is they get people to go to these parties and these, uh, they're, they're very put together, but there's always something behind it. And, and basically there, there's a lot of eyes. Okay. There's a lot of videos, a lot of cameras. Um, of course they take your phones away from you when you go to the party. It's like part of it because like I said, it's, it's a pretty, um, major party and there's a lot of famous people there and but they have cameras so the whoever's hosting it and it's like they have these games that they play but at the end um it's like you're stuck um playing these games um may not even realize it they could put something in your food put something in your drink um Sometimes they even have stuff that they can touch you and it can seep into your body, like the oils. But um, they have you do stuff at this party and they record it. And this is like leverage. This is what they use against you. It's like blackmail. And they they say, you know, everybody does it. It's part of the party. It's part of the thing, you know. And if you're... um. If they end up getting you under the substance, I don't even think that there's any, there's much, any, much of a question asked about it, like until after, of course, when you wake up and you're, you're, you're trying to put two and two together, right? Um, this is what I'm picking up. Some, something about a party like this, okay? There's more reasons that they do it than, than, than just that, but there's like an oath or something that you do while you're there. And again, they have so many people there and so many people around you and you wouldn't even think like anything like that at first when you get there. Everybody's having fun, right? And then you'll, you, you know, things will get kind of chaotic after that, um, And depending on what you remember, it, 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 it'd be a little crazy afterwards uh, with your memory. But, uh, yeah, they, they definitely have you take some kind of oath. And they um, this is something that they hold against you or hold on you. Um, yeah, there's a lot of um, darkness. I see a lot of darkness, a lot of magic. Okay. Yeah, so they want to they they want to affect your crown chakra. They don't want you to know, they don't want you to remember, they don't want you to come fully into your purpose. Because once you get to where you're supposed to be, 
you will have the knowledge of all. You will know. You will be one. So you will see. You will see connections. You will start to put the you'll put the puzzle fully together. Okay. But Metatron is working with you. Okay, you can call upon Metatron to help you when you meditate. All right. He has sent the angel of strength to be with you. And we also have the angel of love to keep your heart chakra open, right? Because we can't have it, you being in like a depressed, negative um, state. Because this is another thing. They try to get you at a low vibration so that they can affect you. Um, so they want you to keep your heart chakra open and keep being that love, right? Because that's what we're here to do is to show other people love. You know, it's like, you know, when you're down and you see somebody else and sometimes it's just that person's smile or just that person's, just that person's presence, right? That can actually change somebody's day. Holding the door open for somebody, just being nice to somebody. Um, and that is what we're supposed to do, be bringing the love and the light here and um yeah they don't want us to come together they don't want the collective the chosen to come together and i just did a reading um where i pulled there's romance so there's there's something that is going to connect you and you're going to find your your true soulmate if you haven't already if you are then things are definitely going to start lifting you're going to start they're going to start blooming um, and they don't want this again, when, when everybody starts to connect, it's stronger, it's more powerful. Um, the magician in the mirror. So I'm pulling something with mirrors. Okay. Let me give you the extended on this. Now, I got that song on my head again. I just did a short video on that, too. Um, that song, Rise, where she's she's calling on her angels, and the angels say, uh, have so little faith. You've got it. Fight it. Victory is in your veins. I got that song on my head now. It's in, um, I feel like this is you. Like, keep going. You have this. You got this. Um, knowing and using your true power. The magician is the flame of passion and action. It says, tell, this is telling you that the magician and within your grasp is, and within your grasp are the amazing forces of earth and spirit. The water is the energy of yin and the power of spirit and clarity of thought. The flame is the energy of yang bringing direction and, and creativity together. They give you the, um, the magic of transformation. The mirror stands beside the magician, reflecting the outer world response to your choice to use or dismiss the true power that you have. It's silver reflection reveals the future in a mist on the horizon, ready to be magically formed. The magician is telling you that you are put, <clears throat> they do not want me getting this out. You are put on notice that an important and powerful time is at hand. You are the alchemist <clears throat> of your life. And just as an alchemist turns base metals into gold, you are now able to transform your difficulties into great blessings. This is true in every area of your life. Claim your power and embrace your intentions and your heart and in your daily life. Direct your destiny and the myths of the future will clear into brilliant reality. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, they definitely did not want me to tell you this. <clears throat> My drink's not over here. Um, this is an affirmation that you can say. I have all the power I need to create the destiny I desire. Magic happens when I live in the conscious, consciousness and my eternal truth.
Yeah, so, um, you know, mirrors aren't always bad. Re mirrors are going to tell you truth. They're going to reflect truth. And mirrors see a lot. You got to think, like, how long a mirror, like, especially when you rent a house or you buy a house that already has a mirror in it, you know, like, how, mu how much has that mirror seen? And um, it's like, uh, they're, they're saying that there's not only um, for you to reflect, right? And um, know about the magic that you have within, but that you could also use the mirror. Like you have some kind of, um, the mirror does something for you, okay? To show you your, your, your inner and outer power. And they're telling you to uh, claim it, okay? I know everyone's always hearing about the, the mirror magic and um, people siphoning your energy and everything else. And they want to, you know, feel like mirrors are not always bad, all right? Um, mirrors can also be good. You know, we can use this to reflect, to see the truth and to um, do our affirmations because it makes it more powerful. Um, it, it magnifies it. Okay, so using a mirror when you do your affirmations will help. And when you're claiming your power, when you're meditating, these things will actually help you, is what this is saying. And also, don't forget, Metatron, okay, is working with you with your crown chakra. So, this person is obviously trying to pay, pay somebody here to keep something hush-hush. But um, I'm pretty sure that you got this. And I doubt that you're going to um, go to any kind of get-together or anything like this. Um, as long as nobody tricks you and ends up bringing you somewhere like that. Uh, like a friend or something. Um, you know, always be careful. Cause sometimes you don't realize the people closest to you can actually be the ones that you really need to um, be cautioned about. Not always, though. You know, but um, sometimes. I didn't realize that a lot of people that were in my life were, that were closest to me were not good until, you know, it was too late. Um, but yeah, you know, but I had my angels there, thank God. And I had my guides and I had source. I had the most high, most high God. Archangel Uriel, life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success all right guys peace love and light